So in this video I'll show you the uh, image that we repaired using uh, KPEG Repair. This was the end result. And well first the bottom part of the image uh, has slightly too much red I think. So we'll use paint.net, it's a very simple to use tool. And uh, you don't get overwhelmed by zillions of options. So that's why I use it a lot. I must say that I would, if this would be a, a customer's image, I would spend more time on this. But this is to give you an idea of what you can do to uh, touch up a uh, photo repaired by a JPEG repair. So we first select the, the, the this part with slightly too much red in there, I think, and the tool to adjust it is curves. I've already done it and then I realized okay I haven't videoed it so this is why I'm doing this again. So basically you select the curves tool, go to RGB in the, in the top uh, drop down box. Since I want to remove red I uh, untick uh, green and blue and then basically I adjust the curve till I think it looks better than it did before. Okay, that Control Z on the keyboard uh, undoes. Control D deselects the area that we just uh, selected. So now I accidentally apply again, and this means the entire image is slightly less red. Okay, you can fine tune this, but this is to give an idea of. Uh, how you can uh, fix those color errors. So then, with this, with, with the colors fixed, we need to get rid of the gray line. Again, I, I'll go and do. The, I'll be doing this quick and dirty. If this were a customer's photo, I would easily spend 45 minutes uh, or an hour on it. The tool we use is the clone stamp tool. It's the little stamp thingy in the in left toolbox and uh, clone stamping basically it takes an area of the image which you define and clones it to where you want it to be. I slide down opacity so I, I don't want it to be a real solid color I want to be uh, really touching it up basically. You click the part the source while holding the control button. So you pick the area that you want to be cloned on top of the gray line while holding the control key. Then you simply release and you start touching up where you want to touch up or where you want to correct this gray line, get rid of this gray line. And you have to play with it a little. Remember, the JPEG is uh, imperfect by nature. I mean, it's all the, the, the core of JPEG is uh, reducing the data inside a file in a way that it's not noticed by the human eyes. Uh, and um, basically, if you can uh, accomplish that, it looks kind of natural what you're doing, then the image will look okay to most people. It depends on how important the image is, how much time you spend on it. So I'm speeding up, speeding it up a little now. So each time I uh, select a source area by holding the control key and clicking, so now I want a bit, a little bit of the black, so I clicked inside the shoe while holding the control key. And I think in the actual customer image I uh, opted for completely removing that shoe. I'm using clone stem now, but if you if you 
want to remove that shoe you can kind of just wipe it uh, using uh, a colors of the surrounding area and uh, use the uh, paintbrush tool and set opacity again to a lower number and sort of brush it out. You can play with the size of the brush. Sometimes you need it to be smaller. Sometimes you want it to be larger. And you make it kind of look as natural as possible. So we'll just change the tree here so to make our own lives easier. When you do the grass, I uh, select different source areas so you don't get repeating patterns. You see, I clicked there at the concrete. Well, these are areas I, I would normally spend a lot more time on. And, and, and uh, apart from clone stamping, I also would use uh, the paintbrush. I would just draw certain things rather than clone stamping them. So basically, you spend more time on this than actually repairing the. Uh, Structural JPEG errors using JPEG repair. And sometimes you have an easy life because uh, I mean, the gray line is uh, running through uh, a bunch of trees that, that, that is really easy to clone stamp. And little details like this is uh, really hard to do. But this is just to give you an idea. Um, and in, the, in this state, I wouldn't dare to send the file as being repaired to a customer. So, that's it. I uh, thank you for watching. Here.